Yep. And you've got active managers that play in the international space, active managers that play in the property space, the Australian equity space. Uh, you guys specialize in or what you manage anyway in international companies. I know you've got an infrastructure fund as well, um, but into yep. international companies. Um, what do you see is when you look, when you compare Australian companies versus international companies, so NABs versus uh, an overseas company like a Facebook, what do you see is the main difference between Australian companies and international companies? A lot of people that I talk to, it's mainly around the income that's paid from Australian companies because they pay out a lot of their profits. International companies are a little bit different. They tend to keep the, pro keep the cash and reinvest it back into the business. But what, what is the main difference between Australian businesses and overseas? That, that might be part of it. Um, but that might also be sort of too broad a, a point. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if I can agree because I just don't know the data. You yeah. know, we cover those couple of hundred companies and we don't spend much time looking at the rest of the world. So yeah, yeah, fair China, enough. Yeah. Um, Australia versus uh, everything else out there. I'd say the biggest difference we find from investing in Australia to investing outside of Australia is just recognising that Australia is a wonderful company. I love Australia, but it's quite a narrow economy and it's an even narrower share market. You know, there's not a lot of sector diversity um, it's a, uh, you know, we've all seen the statistics around the top 20 and the top 50 ASX. They are all skewed to a couple of sectors. Um, it, as you step outside of Australia and start investing internationally, you just get exposure to many, many more different industries, of course, many more regions. Um, and there are, you know, we are not thematic investors. As I mentioned, we just love finding these wonderful businesses that have tailwinds behind them instead of facing headwinds in front of them. Uh, we just, it, it seems to us, it is those uh, long-term tailwinds are more prevalent outside Australia than inside Australia. You know, it is true that we have businesses here that play to, you know, the growth in Chinese consumption. We have businesses that play to, you know, the growth in digital payments and things like that. But if we look outside Australia, um, we just find more of those wonderful businesses that really benefit from a, a vast variety of those different long-term growth tailwinds. And there might be fewer of those opportunities here in Australia. Yep. Yep. No, fair enough. People like investing to Australia because a lot of the times they know the names they're investing in. But now if you go look overseas, you still find names that you know and names that you can believe in. 